So one of the issues you may encounter with an open loop speed density tune is temperature and weather change affecting your air fuel ratio. So one of the things you can do to minimize this effect is uh, tuning your complex model for your cylinder charge temperature. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick engine, then we're going to go to airflow, and you're going to see you have complex model enabled. And below that we have bias and filter. So the filter is how to adjust how fast these changes happen on the bias table. You can kind of leave that alone for now until you get your bias kind of dialed in and then maybe you want to adjust the filter a little bit and that just controls the speed of how this changes when you're biasing between the intake air temperature and the engine coolant temperature. So the reason we do this is that you may see uh, weather changes in impacting your air fuel ratio when you're using an open loop speed density tune. So that's the big knock on an open loop speed density tune for a streetcar is that weather changes can affect your air fuel ratio and you may be dialing in your VE table at 60 degrees and then on a 90 degree day you go out and your air fuel ratio seem a little bit off especially at idle low speed stop and go type driving especially if you sit for long periods of time and you heat soak the intake so what we do basically with this bias is we can change from using more of the intake air temperature sensor to more of the engine coolant temperature sensor in these low airspeed areas to kind of combat the impact of weather and temperature air temperature changes on your air fuel ratio you can really minimize that and knock it down to a really unconsequential amount of change that's so small it's not even worth worrying about now you're never going to be as good as having a mass airflow sensor but if you're getting to a really aggressive boosted setup you know a mass airflow sensor may be not out of the cards for you because you're beyond its limits so you really want to go to the speed density and maybe even open loop type of tune. So what you'll see here is a decimal below 1. And the reason that is, is 1 would be your max number, 1.0. And that would put all the emphasis on the engine coolant temperature sensor rather than the intake air temperature sensor. So what you're seeing here is at 0, I've got 0.84. But in reality, that could be one because it it'd be it wouldn't matter. That'd be completely balanced to the engine coolant temperature sensor. And then the numbers decrease as the airflow increases because it works to have more. The air is moving faster. It can be balanced more to the intake air temperature sensor. So what I've found is, as you sit in traffic and your intake air temperature sensor gets heat soaked, you start to go lean leaner than your normal Stoich idle AFR. So what you can do is you slightly increase these lower air numbers in the areas where you see this and kind of minimize those weather changes and heat soak condition changes to your air fuel ratio. So it takes a little bit of trial and error and driving in different conditions really dial that in and then as you move that you know you may find that you need to go back and revisit your VE table in some of them areas just find that balance it takes a little bit of effort there and time to kind of dial that in but you can get it good enough that where you know it's so minimal that it has no consequence in those low speed conditions when the weather changes drastically it doesn't have that big of effect on your air fuel ratio anymore so I just kind of wanted to touch on that a little bit so you can understand what this bias factor actually is doing and its value to the person with an open loop tune.